Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday, my favorite day of the week. It means I get back to the grind. I get back to showing houses. I'm gonna take y'all with me today. It's gonna be a busy day. I have buyer consultations. Those are over the phone, especially with the whole pandemic going on. But I have uh, buyer consults today. I have showings this morning. Showings are always exciting because that's when my client gets to see the house that they want. They get to fall in love with it. I'm in the kitchen right now. I'm about to give Blake breakfast. Um, but it's exciting. It's exciting being able to actually go and see the houses that my clients send me that they like. So it's going to be fun today. It's going to be a really busy day today, too. So y'all get to see behind the scenes, day in the life of a realtor, what we do, what it looks like, how we get business and build business, all of that y'all get to see. So it's a fun day. Happy Monday. Also, side note, I rep me when I'm out. So check the shirt, list, sell, repeat, real estate life at Chris Perry Real Estate on Instagram. Always got to rep me when I'm out. So now the fun starts in the car on the way to get breakfast. And today's breakfast is smoothies. So with COVID going on and everything going on with that, we try to eat as and drink as healthy as possible. So I'm a big smoothie guy, Tropical Smoothie, sponsor me. But I, I drink there very, very often because it's pretty healthy. Uh, try to get, you know, my fruits and vegetables in. So on the way to get smoothies for the family and then have to head out to Showins in Upper Marlboro. And Upper Marlboro is a suburb of Washington, DC. And I'm showing a client who is a first time home buyer. She is super excited. We got her pre-approved on Saturday because my lender, you know, real estate and lenders, we work over the weekend too. So got her pre-approved on Saturday and she found this house that she fell in love with. We're going to see it this morning. Hopefully she likes it as much as the pictures. And if so, we'll be writing an offer. So I have that showing and then I have a couple of meetings, phone calls, buyer consultations, and then scheduling some Instagram posts and things like that. So just kind of business day as always, but mostly just business planning stuff. So hopefully, hopefully my client likes the house that we see. I'm gonna definitely show you guys too, but hopefully she likes the house that we see so that we'll put in an offer. And that's the exciting part of real estate, being able to find the, the house that your client likes. Not only that, but also getting an offer in especially now with multiple offer situations putting in a good offer so that your client can actually get the house and i'm pretty good at multiple offer situations because it seems like every client that i get now that we put in an offer for we end up in multiple offer situations so i'm pretty good at winning those so fingers crossed hopefully she likes it hopefully she wants to go for it i can't wait to see it hopefully it looks as good as the pictures i'm gonna let y'all see it too so we masked up showing time See the living room here. Dining room. Kitchen. This family room here. The nice fireplace with the high ceilings. Front door. Really nice. I think my client likes it. Upstairs, master bathroom. Shower. Showing done. It went great, the client loved it. So now I have to reach out to my transaction coordinator to write the offer for me. So the offer is just a contract on the house. So it has different contingencies in it. It has uh, the price, the terms, close date, everything in the offer. And if the seller likes the offer that we present, they sign off on it and then we're officially what's called under contract. So I'm reaching out to my transaction coordinator now 
I used to write my contracts myself up until about a month or two ago where I just couldn't really do it anymore. It was so much volume that I had that I had to hire some help. So I have a transaction coordinator now. She does all the offers for me. So I'm reaching out to her now to write an offer. We actually have two offers to write, one for this client and one for our client over the weekend. So we'll get those submitted today. But I'm excited for my client. She liked the house. Now on to a meeting uh, with a new agent that trying to recruit to Caldwell Banker. So it's already starting off to be a good day. So it's definitely been a pretty busy day today. I got my meetings done, my showings done. I got my offers written and submitted. I'm happy about that. And then I just left Best Buy and I had to get a gimbal. So gonna make my videos even better, stabilizing it, all of that. So gotta run home, do some work on the computer. It's been a really busy day, but it's been good. So got two offers submitted, one from this weekend and one from the showing that I had earlier that I showed you guys. So it's been a busy day. This is day in the life. It's never, it's nonstop. My phone has rang probably a good 20 times today. Probably got about 50 text messages. Normal days in real estate life, but you gotta love it, right? Hey guys, so the day is pretty much done. Had a really good day. Um, had my showing earlier this morning with my client really, really liked, and we put in an offer. So fingers crossed that that offer gets accepted. Uh, we put in a really, really good offer, um, actually over list price. The two offers that I put in today, um, one was for the showing that I had earlier, and then another one was for showing that I had over the weekend. Both were over list price because that's just the market right now. Market is super, super competitive. So we have to put offers in over list price. So put both of those in today. Fingers crossed that both of them get accepted. So that was a good thing. Um, and then I also had a meeting with an agent that we're trying to get over to Caldwell Banker that went really, really well too. And my day was really good until uh, like later on in the day. So the things that people don't tell you about real estate is as a real estate agent, we actually don't get paid until the deal closes or the deal is done. And I'm supposed to have three closings this week, uh, one on Thursday and two on Friday. So my closing on Thursday, my buyer reached out to me today and told me that she actually wants to pull out of the deal. She doesn't want the house anymore. She wants to go for a different house. So now it's kind of back to the drawing board. So those are the things that people don't really tell you about in real estate. Everybody thinks that being a realtor is super easy. You know, we just show a few houses and cash checks. It looks really flashy and really easy, but it's definitely not. This client pulls is pulling out three days before closing. Three days before closing. And while it's frustrating, I understand where she's coming from. Um, you know, but it sucks, unfortunately, that again, we don't get paid until a deal closes. So it's the kind of things that people don't really tell you about real estate. Uh, you put so much time and effort into a deal and it may not close. You never know. And that's the unfortunate reality sometimes of real estate. Um, but the thing that separates the good ones from the great ones and the great ones from the legendary ones is that you keep going. You brush it off, you push past it. It wasn't anything that I did. Uh, it was something with the actual house. It wasn't anything that I did, so I can't be too upset about it. I get where she's coming from. Can't be mad at her for that, but it sucks when you have put in so much work and so much time into a deal and it may not close. And like this one, three days from closing, it's not gonna close, so I won't get paid for that this month. Uh, again, back to the drawing board, we're looking for another house for her now. So that's just the unfortunate side of real estate where you have some really, really great times. Uh, like the showing that I had earlier with my client loved it. Uh, the two offers that I put in, I've put in three offers in the past 48 hours, which is a great thing. Uh, my clients are loving houses that I'm showing them. But then again, you have the bad side on the flip side too, where you know you may put in a whole lot of work in a house and a client and they may not actually close so good thing is you know again i'm, I'm going to be able to find her a different house but she's going to be out of some money because she had to pay for her inspection she had to pay for her appraisal 
And then she also put down what's called an earnest money deposit too. And she's gonna be out of that as well. So that's a couple thousand dollars as well too, because she just pulling out of, of the contract for no reason. So again, I can't knock her because I understand where she's coming from, that she wants a different house. But the unfortunate side of being a real estate agent, the things that people don't typically tell you about is sometimes people pull out of deals and I'm not gonna be able to get paid for that this month. I have to find another house for, her. it's all good, but you know, I am finally gonna get a little bit of relaxing in with the family now, now that my son, we've, we've ate dinner, put him down to sleep. So now I actually get to relax a little bit. I'm still gonna watch real estate stuff. I'm gonna watch Million Dollar List in LA because that's my show. But day in the life, you get to see the highs, the lows, everything in between. This is just one day. Every day in real estate is different, but this was how today went. Tomorrow, got meetings. Uh, probably got another offer to write tomorrow too, but day in the life, this is what a real estate agent actually looks like. A real estate agent that actually sells a lot of houses that you know makes multiple six figures a year doing this. This is what a day in the life looks like. And I love this. It. Nothing else I'd rather do with my life right now besides being a realtor. I love what I do. It's amazing, it's a great career, it's amazing, but it has its ups and its downs, its highs and its lows. So if you're thinking about being a realtor, drop a comment below and let me know uh, what you thought about today. Uh, it's a great career, but you definitely gotta have some tough skin. So, you know, started my day off on a really great note, ended it on a interesting note, but tomorrow is gonna be, we reset, we do it all over again and tomorrow will be vastly different from today. And that's why one reason why I love it. Every day is different. So let drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And if you'd actually want to be a realtor and hopefully today, this day in the life actually gave you a behind the scenes of what it actually looks like running a real estate business and being successful with it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Definitely make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to, and share it as well so people can see what it looks like on a day-to-day -day basis of being a successful realtor. So talk to you guys.